Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great start to your weekend. Um, so I thought for today's video, I was just gonna do a short um, little video on what my bushcraft and camping pack is gonna be for this summer into early fall. So behind me here, I have, I'm gonna be using a couple different bags. Um, if you've watched my last two videos, You've seen this one and this pack both out. This one is a smaller pack. I think it's around 30 to 35 liters if I remember correctly. And it's great as a day pack or a light overnighter pack. So I've been taking this one with me for day trips and stuff like that where I'm just out in the woods for an afternoon or part of a day and I don't need to take a ton of gear with me. Um, this pack is lightweight, very easy to carry, very comfortable to wear. Um, it does not have any kind of frame or back support to it, so for long distance hiking or trips where you're taking a lot of stuff with you, this pack would be um, a little bit more strain on your back. It doesn't have a uh, sternum strap to it, and like I said, it's got no frame to it. So that's just a couple things, and this one um, I've had some questions here lately. I'll put a link to Amazon to this exact pack that I bought. Uh, I don't think it's available right now from what I've seen. It's just a uh, kind of generic uh, Chinese version of a um, bushcraft or camp pack. Um, I don't even remember who makes this. Um, it's definitely not a brand you probably heard of or know anything about. It was just a cheap easy pack. Now this one over here is a much larger pack. This is about 60 liter pack um, that I got last year and this does have a frame in it. It has back support, has a sternum strap, has a waist strap, all kinds of things to help take burden off of your back and help distribute your load when you're hiking or going out on a trip. This is a Martin top and I will put a link to this as well. This is a 60 liter Martin top. It's got two side pouches. Um, the internal storage here is 50 liters and then if I remember correctly both of these pockets are 5 liters so that's where you get your total of 60. This company does have larger packs they make like a 70 or 75. Uh, if you watch any of my older older videos I have a um, bigger bug out bag that I built using a Martin top that I believe was their 75 liter so uh, definitely I have larger sizes available if you're wanting to take a lot of gear. But these are going to be my two packs for this spring and summer. So, again, if you've watched my last couple videos, you'll have seen some of this stuff before. But I'm just going to go over some of the tools first that I'm going to be taking with me on these trips. So, first off, I'll go ahead and show. This is my Cloudburst Axe by Condor. 24-inch length, leather sheath leather collar, cordage on the back tying it on, and extra cordage if you need it. Um, I've had this axe for a few months now, taking it out on uh, my last several trips out to the woods, and um, I've put it through the tests and shown it. Like I said, if you've watched my last two videos, you've seen it. Uh, I've been so happy with this axe. There wasn't a lot of information on it, not much in the way of any kind of reviews when I bought it, but I have really loved this as my go-to pack axe. Pretty affordable. Um, I will put a link down there for this as well if you're interested in checking it out. And it does come with its own leather sheath. Uh, another Condor item that's been in some of my last videos that will be one of my main knives for the next several trips and for most of the rest of this year is the Condor Undertaker Bowie. Um, I believe it's got walnut handle scales on it, high carbon steel blade. This one is a, um, I believe, I think this one's 1065, maybe 1075. I'll put a link on it so you can get the exact information. Um, but it's high carbon steel, takes an edge very easily um, when you're touch up sharpening it. But this has been a fantastic knife. Great weight for a chopper. Comes with a great leather sheath belt loop. Um, I've been using this knife on my last several trips. And again, 
Condor has been a company that I'm relatively new to. Last year was the first time I've bought anything by them and I have been blown away by their quality. So definitely recommend them if you're looking for an affordable axe or knife. The knife runs about $90 on Amazon. I think the axe is around 80 if I remember correctly when I bought it. So they're a little more expensive than like a budget Schrade or something like that. But uh, for the quality and for a really well done piece of craftsmanship, I think you'll be very happy with it. And still, still pretty budget friendly, not, you know, $200 for the axe and, and 300 for the knife, so nothing like that. So definitely recommend both of those. Um, for saws, I'm gonna be swapping out between this Agawa Canyon um, Boreal 21. This is a folding buck saw. Um, if, again, if you've seen my last couple videos, I have featured this on there before, but it just unfolds. You load this into this little slot and then press. It does have quite a spring retention to it, so it locks in place. And when you have it deployed, very nice size, 21 inch length saw blade. And just from what I've used of it so far, it almost effortless to saw with with uh, dry wood especially and any kind of dead standing or things you'd be using for camp fires or anything like that so again really fantastic saw another one that I'll swap in and out from time to time this is the sheath for it but that's the silky big boy folding saw this one is another fantastic saw both very you know compact for your for your pack and really superior cutting from, from uh, folding saws that I've used and tried out before them. Uh, these two far outdo any other folding saws that I've used. And you have, especially on the Silky, you have quite a lengthy cutting area, so you get a, a lot of um, progress for each stroke. So both of those are gonna be kind of in and out of my packs for saws if I'm taking a uh, folding saw with me. Also great, I uh, plan on doing some kind of shelter build this summer or early fall so those will come in handy for, for making more precise cuts and clean edges for uh, logs and stuff for a shelter. So those are going to be going with me. This I will take as well. Uh, this is the Cold Steel Warhawk. It's got a um, molded um, I think it's Thermoplastic Securex Sheath. Um, this is a tactical tomahawk. It's got spike on the back, cutting edge up front, and then this sheath that goes on it. This is more for uh, not to have a secondary axe for chopping wood. This is more of a self-defense. Um, some of the areas I go in have uh, signs of wild boar and stuff like that. So if I you know, find myself in a situation where an animal attack is happening, I want to have something like that that's um, going to be able to help fend off any kind of predators or, or dangerous animals. So I'll take that with me just kind of as a backup. A couple other knives I'll show you real quick. These will occasionally come with me instead of the Undertaker Bowie. Um, one is the Ontario Knife SP-10. This is the Raider Bowie. Um, this is a really great Bowie as well. Another heavy chopper. Comes with a nylon sheath, plastic insert to keep from cutting through the sheath, and then two snap retentions for it. Uh, this is a very beefy knife, very heavy um, for chopping. Um, it's got good weight in the hand. It's not like cumbersome, but you definitely feel the weight to it. You definitely feel that it's a heavier built knife. Uh, so I'll swap this in and out every now and then. It's got a rubbery, um, handle to it good grippy kind of sticky handle so it's not sliding around in your hand I do like that about this one is that it's got a great rubberized texture to the handle so uh, you don't have to worry too much if you got a good grip on it you don't have to worry too much about any kind of slippage sheath is um, molly compatible and then it's got uh, loops down here for uh, paracord or any kind of cordage you want to take with you the other one if you've seen some of my older stuff You've seen this before. The other one I'll occasionally swap out for is the Schrade. 
This is the uh, SCH45, or you might have heard it called the Leroy Bowie. Um, again, another one with a very rubberized, really great grip, and then it's got these finger grooves that really add to the ability to hold on to. Again, it's got a molded kind of thermoplastic sheath. Uh, my only complaint about this knife, um, or actually the sheath, the knife is fantastic. My only complaint about this sheath is that the, well, two things, I'll tell you. One is this rigid belt loop. This has no play to it, so when it's on your belt, it is very rigid up here at the top and you don't get any kind of real um, swing or play that lets it kind of hang close to your body. It wants to just stick out from your belt because of that. Not a huge deal, but that's just one thing that it's not my favorite. Also, um, I've mentioned it before and other people have too, it's got no drain hole in it. It's not a huge deal to me, but if you do get water in there, just be aware of that. It does not have a drain hole for that to escape on its own. Now, somebody made a comment in one of my videos that you could take a small bit and drill a hole in the bottom, and that's true. Um, I don't know how easy that would be down here because you've got uh, steel rivets in the bottom of it, but you could probably figure out a way to put a small hole in the bottom of it to help it drain. So that's going to be it for tools as far as knives and saws and all that go. I'll have this with me as a headlamp. Um, this is no uh, name brand. I have a Coast, but it's very low lumen, and the last time I took it on a camping trip, it just wasn't bright enough to see much of what was around me. This it does have a higher lumen rating, but it's a, it's kind of a Chinese um, cheap build. It's got a uh, adjustment right here, this ring that you can widen and narrow your beam if you want to do a flood compared to like uh, more of a spotlight. So you do have that with ability with it and I do like that on this one. Um, and it's held up fine. It's got the rechargeable battery pack in the back. It comes with the cord to plug it up and charge it. So far, even though it's kind of a cheaper knockoff, it's, it's performed really well. Uh, the floodlight aspect alone of it, the last time I took it on a trip, it lit up the area around me fantastic. So I could see well off into the woods. I could see what was down the path and all that kind of stuff. So I do like that feature on it. Um, I don't have it out because I'm filming in my, my room upstairs. I just don't know that I have the room to do it, but I will show you. This is gonna be my tent for this spring and summer. This is just a inexpensive Ozark Trail um, one person backpacking tent. Uh, it's got the kind of rain fly here in the front. Um, uses fiberglass poles so you can take those out, fold those down, and, and then roll up and pack up the tent real tight. So that way you save a lot of space. That's one big reason I went with this one was affordability and the ability to pack it down small. I have a bigger tent that I, that I took last year um, with this pack right here but it's rated as a four-person tent and it was kind of bulky in the bag took up a lot of space and i just don't need a four-person tent for um camping by myself so that will be the tent fire starter i have a couple of these that i've that i've gotten on amazon they are fatwood kits this one came with the little pocket billows that you extend it's telescopic you can extend it out, use the bellows to um, blow directly onto your embers or coals to fan up a flame, um, get a low burning fire, oxygen, and bring it back to life. So I really like that. Um, that's actually from a different one I ordered. I just, I prefer this one for the case and everything. So I, this is the kit I take with me. So I just swapped it over to this. It comes with a fire steel and then it comes with all different sizes of these little bagged uh, fatwood. So if you want to have an easy fire starter with you and you want to just scrape off, you want to use one of the whole sticks, or some of their shavings, some of them have powder, uh, powdered fatwood, you can use any of those with the fire steel or matches or whatever to get a fire going very quickly and very easily. So I take this as just a little fire starter kit and it's an easy way. If you can't find tinder or it's wet when you're out, that's something you can use um, that you know you have dependable tinder and fire starter ability when you're out there. Uh, also, real important, I've got it in this pack right now. Definitely 
want to invest in a good quality first aid kit that's got a lot of the treatments for most your necessities. Now this is, um, the reason I went with this one is this is an adventure medical kit from a series or a company that makes this uh, sportsman series and they have this one which is the white tail. I think they have one that's called the big horn. They have three or four different variations and it goes from single person up to a large group uh, wilderness uh, first aid kit. So this is the one I went with. This one is anywhere from one to four people. So for me being out by myself, this is most likely to have plenty. It's got pain reliever, uh, you know, anti-diarrheal, um, dressings, bandages, a lot of the stuff that you're likely to run into if you um, get an injury or something happens when you're out camping. This is at least going to give you a first line of defense to deal with it until you can get medical treatment or get to help. So definitely always highly recommend that you have a first aid kit with you in your vehicle, in your pack. Make sure you have this out there with you when you're camping, hiking, out by yourself or with others. So if something happens to you or somebody in your group, you're ready. And one thing nice about this, the Sportsman series, they are orange, so they are highly visible. Uh, you're not likely to lose this in the woods because it stands out very well with this bright orange packaging. So I'll have that with me. Um, this is something I just got that I thought I'd show. I like to have coffee when I'm out camping. Uh, I like coffee at home. And um, I actually use this also to take to work. But this is something I got here recently that has uh, double wall insulation and then it comes with an insulated cup. Uh, what the cool thing about this one was I liked that it came with a tin actual like uh, camp style cup. Uh, they have rubberized um, plates or circles on the bottom so that if you set them down it helps them not slide around and you're also not rubbing metal um, on you know scratch prone surfaces or something like that. So I've got this 24 hours hot or up to 60 hours cold, um, spill proof, uh, sweat proof. So it's got a great solid build to it. Um, and it's from a company called Reduce, which is a, you know, geared towards stuff that's reusable, something you're not going to use, throw away, and create more trash. It's something you take in, you take out, and you use over and over again um, without causing a lot of waste. So I got this for uh, coffee or if I want to take something cold. There's a lot of different options. And then I, I put this sticker on there. Um, this is a uh, Uber leaving patch or sticker that came with a uh, ferro rod of theirs I ordered. I've been using their ferro rod for um, my last few trips out to the woods. I just got one last year. And best fire steel I've owned so far. That was a really hot spark. And uh, the scraper it comes with has got a great edge on it so you get really great sparks really hot and you can start a fire quite easily with it so they sent that sticker with one of the last ones I ordered and I thought it looked cool on there so I'll put that on there um, otherwise you know I'll have either a lightweight uh, sleeping bag or blanket that I'll take with me I have an inflatable mattress and an inflatable pillow in here um, that's just for that for going camping um, if I take a decent sleeping bag I may not even use the pad especially uh, but I am doing the tent for, for summer and early fall because mosquitoes and insects are just everywhere this time of year down here in the southeast so I'm not gonna tarp or, or do anything open where bugs can just be on me all night long out camping so those that's gonna be kind of my my kit for um, camping for this this season and like I said probably even in early fall it doesn't really get very cool or cold here till late late October even into November so this this gear this this kit will pretty well serve me for um, the next uh, what is it June so the next at least four and a half months so again I will have links to the bag I'll put links to the condor stuff um, I'll try to put links to all of this down there so if you guys are interested in checking it out and want to look at it. I'm getting ready to um, get in on Amazon's affiliate program 
So in the near future, I'll, I'll hopefully have um, my own links that if you go and you're interested in this stuff and you buy it, it will help me out with a small commission for you clicking on my link. If it's something you're interested in, you already wanted to buy, that would be really helpful. I'll let you guys know when that goes up and I'll definitely be linking more um, when that goes active, but I'm gonna wait till I have just a little more traffic on the channel uh, because from my research on it, uh, Amazon kind of puts you on a trial period and I think it's in the first three or six months, I don't remember exactly. You, if you don't make at least three sales or, or people don't use your link for at least three times to buy something, then they kick you out of the program. So I don't want to get it started prematurely and then kick right back out. So that's uh, that's going to be the kit. Like I said, I'll be swapping out between these two bags. So you may see either one of them depending on the length of time I'm going out or how much I have uh, to take with me, how much gear I'm going to take for a trip. Just a heads up, um, I know things have been crazy and I know before here recently it's been huge gaps in between videos. I'm trying really hard not to not to get behind. I've had videos kind of filmed up and and ready to post about a week at a time and I've still got stuff and with this one. I'll still have stuff going up. So hopefully look for a lot more consistent posting. Uh, like I've told you in other videos, my wife and I have been through moving, having a baby, selling our old house and just work has been up and down crazy so i'm trying to find a more consistent pattern and routine where i can film and get this stuff up and stay current with you guys on what's going on without uh these month gaps in between postings so that's going to be the majority of my kit like i said uber leaving is the fire steel i'm using i didn't take it out and show you but it's just the um i believe it's their uh Hexagon or hexagonal fire steel is the one I've been using. It's a six inch by half inch width, um, really beefy fire steel, uh, thousands, tens of thousands of strikes on it. So that's what I'll be using for that. That's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. Uh, hopefully the next time you guys see me, um, I have one other video that'll go up after this that won't be a camping trip, but hopefully the video after that is gonna be me finally doing an overnighter. Um, with everything going on with the virus and everything, my wife's mother works in the medical field, so we haven't been able to really um, have family close by while all this has been going on because for, for social distancing and health reasons, we've not been able to see her too much. Um, but hopefully when all this settles down, my wife will be able to be comfortable to stay with them when I go out camping because that's one of the big hangups right now is she just doesn't like staying home alone when I'm out for camping trips so if we can get to where she can stay with family I'll be able to go out she'll be comfortable I'll know she's with people and has support so hopefully like I said pretty soon here uh, my one of my next uh, two or three videos will be an actual overnight camping trip we'll do I'll do a cook and, and camp out and then after that I'm going to try to start a shelter building series um, since we moved, I don't have my old shelter anymore, don't have access to that. So I want to start a new shelter that's going to kind of be my base camp where not necessarily every trip, but, but several trips I can go and already have a, a base established to camp out of, build on. We'll make I'll make a whole series out of that. So stay tuned. Really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please shoot me a comment. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, gotten several here in the last few days in the last week I really appreciate it to all my subscribers that have been with me from the beginning and and shortly thereafter thank you guys so much for the support and staying with me uh, please leave a comment like and subscribe if you're new um, and just stay tuned hit the notification bell for the subscription so you'll see these videos as they go up you'll get an alert first thing uh, I really appreciate you guys watching um, my channel is Viking Bushcraft and Survival. My name is Chris, and I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe out there.